Well, it appears the Sobek got a Ku uh, Kuva variant well before my Akboltos even got an Incarnon, which they are in desperate need of. Well, how does it compare to the normal Sobek? So, the base damage is at 77 compared to 70, so 70 increase. 77, sorry. Has higher base crit chance at 21 compared to 11, so it's got a 10% increase. Its crit multiplier is 2.30 compared to 2, so a 0.30 increase. That's not a big change. And its status chance increased from 16.20 to uh, 21. As well, its overall uh, IPS got increased exponentially. But overall, there is a common build that everyone is doing with the Kuva uh, Sobek. They're using either a Heat Progenitor, Toxin, or Cold to free up a mod slot so they can add another mod. And they're running... Saren with Acid Shells, Toxic Slash, Roar, or Eclipse, but sadly, as y'all can tell when I type in Saren, I don't want a Saren. I would love to have one. I'm missing like a, couple, a piece or two, but instead, I'm going to show off two builds that I have uh, for you today, and then we'll go to Steel Path to test them on non-controlled enemies. So, like I said, I'll have two builds for you. Sadly, like I said, I don't have Saren, so you won't be seeing the Acid Shells build that everyone and their mom's showing. Instead, I have an Armor Strip build and a Corpus build. The Armor Strip build is going to require you have two uh, Emerald Archon shards, but you could also just run Hydroid. So, let's cover that one first. The Armor Strip build. I have a Toxin Progenitor. My Toxin Progenitor is 35%. You can run Heat if you want, so you can get Toxin on here naturally. It's all up to you. So, uh, this build runs Radiation, Corrosive, and Cold. You could easily change out Primary Frostbite for Primary Merciless for the reload speed. So we run Galvanize Hell, Savvy, which is additive, not multiplicative, Prime Chill Grasp, Prime Point Blank, Toxic Barrage for the extra toxin, Charge Shells, so we get, well, Corrosive without this messing it up. Sadly, that has to be there. This is where I would say put Cold on instead, but it's up to you. And we have Atomic Fallout for Radiation and Magazine, and this is for Fire Rate. So how does it work against uh, Orican Battle Groups on Steel Path? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, quite well. So once we obviously get primary frostbite to do its job, uh, which is stacked up nice, nothing really well right? lives. So obviously. how does it work? Bang, 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 bang. Well, they're dead. How about you? Bang. How about you? You're dead. How about the snake? Oh, well, it's dead. How about the feet? Oh, well, how about the hands? How about y'all? Obviously, it kills quite well, but obviously, uh, I know I'm saying obviously a ton, that's funny. What if you're not fighting armor or something like that? What about shields and just health? Well, let's show off the Corpus killing build, shall we? So like I said, what if you're fighting shields and health? Well, go to the Corpus build. We still have Galvanized Hell, Galvanized Savvy. We're using Primed uh, Chilled Grass to make Magnetic with Shell Shock. Take advantage of our 35% Toxin Progenitor. Obviously, you could add more Toxin, take off Atomic Fallout, and just add... Uh, toxic Barrage for even more Toxin. It's up to you. Both work. Seeking Fury for the Punch Through, because I really want some Punch Through on here. And Accelerator Blast once again for the Fire Rate, because I don't really care for the other versions. So, I already spawned in the Juno Crewman. How does it work? Well, uh, I'd say it works quite alright. It's not having any problems, and these are Steel Path enemies. Just kind of bullet hosing them, I guess is the proper word you would say here. So, I want to use this armor strip build. I'm going to head over to Steel Path. We'll probably go do bot survival so we can get it like, And we'll see how it works against them. And here we are in Steel Path. Well, I brought the corrosive radiation cold build instead of heat. Obviously, you could mix heat on here instead of cold and just put on primary merciless. So do as you will with that. But obviously, the builds that I show are literally just so y'all can get an idea of what you should, well, how you should build it, not well, not how you should build it. What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, a way you could build it. There we go. Obviously, you do not have to build the way I build. These are literally just here to help you have an understanding on how well the weapon works and how you could build it. I'm just kind of curious. How does... Oh, that does help. Wow, that's crazy. But obviously, the weapon well, functions quite well. I'm not struggling at all. Granted, I am taking a lot of damage, but Protea is not exactly what I would call a tank frame at all. She's more of a support murder room frame. So I'll see y'all when a uh, Acolyte spawns and probably when an Exmas spawns too. I'll show off that too. So I'll see y'all then. 
And there we go. An 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 acolyte, sorry, an exo spawns. Well, I didn't expect much, but once again, I'll see y'all when an acolyte spawns. Well, we got our uh, we got our acolyte finally. Been waiting on this thing for a, a hot minute. So, how does it handle? Well, I'm trying to get my stuff to proc, so it's going to be a second. Oh, of course, I have to reload. I mean, that's that's doing quite all right, actually, after you get through the shields and I stop getting harassed by everybody in this room. But obviously, that's just a five minute. I'm going to go on until we get 10 minute ones. So I'll see you all when the 10 minute one spawns, just so you all get a idea of how a higher level one handles it. All right. The 10 minute acolyte has finally decided to show its face. Oh, we got mania. Lovely. We got mania. Doesn't seem like Mania is a big fan of uh, getting harassed like I am. Because uh, the amount of enemies that keep spawning is a little bit annoying. So obviously I'm going to slap a couple of those around. But hey Mania, come this way. Thank you Mania. There you go. Thank you. Nice roll by the way. Good one. Well, as you see, had no issues. So I'm going to start heading over to my orbiter and I'll give you my final thoughts on the Kuva Sobek. So what do I think about the gun? Well, overall, I think the Kuva Sobek is all right. Is it a game breaker? No. Is it a better version of what people needed for the Sobek that they always use with acid shells and stuff like that? Yes. Will I be doing the Tenet Galaxion? Probably not, because I even though it now bounces, I still don't think I'll use the weapon. I didn't use the original one. I'm probably not going to use this one. But if I do end up getting it, which I rarely go for tenant weapons, I'll make sure to do a video on it. But overall, what is the opinion on Kuva Sobek? It's all right. It's a good shot. It's a status one, so it's not good against Acolytes, but it's overall fine. But obviously, if you all want to see more videos like this, do make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and hit that and uh, hit that bell for post notifications. But comment, comment what weapons y'all want to see me do. Ask me questions. I'll answer them. And obviously, the Discord is up. It's in the description. My Twitter's in the description. Use those. Tell me uh, tell me games you want to see me play on Twitter, in the Discord, stuff like that. I love to see you guys come around. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, or midnight. And I'll see y'all in the next video. See y'all then.